three things what make a good social worker are having a good relationship with them, them visiting regularly, and they take you out places so you can discuss privately. Someone who keeps their promise and say if they're going to do something, they'll do it, instead of you having to keep on bringing it up and then forgetting about it. Second thing, just being on time to your meetings and always keeping your promise that they're going to see you. A good social worker is a social worker that's dedicated to the child and is always there for them. A good social worker makes someone that comes out to you, make sure that you're happy in your home. A good social worker also takes you out to make sure you're right in the house and outside. And they also talk to your foster parents to make sure everything's all right as well. Also, a good social worker can, like gets to know you. But my social worker now knows me like the back of her hand. I know everything about her. She knows everything about me. Like, she knows I have multiple dogs. She knows my favourite animal. So it's really important that, like, they get to know you. I think what makes a good social worker is a social worker who doesn't have any judgement or prejudice against the child and has good social skills and, you know, social care skills because when you build a good bond with your social worker, it makes you trust them and it gets your trust. Emma, she's been with me for four years. She's decent, got loads of grey hair. Um, She's stuck mostly by me through all the tough times. She knows me too well. If I'm feeling a bit down, she knows. I used to give her five minutes, (laughs) then leave the house. Five minutes are over, bye. (laughs) Now I don't want her to leave. Three things that make a good foster carer are having a good relationship with them. If you needed to tell them something, to make sure you feel that you can do that and to make sure that you love them and they love you. Someone who treats you nicely and treats you like their own daughter, treats you like their own son and treats you for how you are. So like say if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community, you should have foster care that do support it and who love you for who you are and who are nice to you and not treating you like a foster child, treating you like their own kid. Someone who doesn't single you out, like if you have your own children but you also decided to foster, not single them out. And, like, saying, oh, you have this amount of pocket money, so you can only use that. You can't be spending my money because you should only be using your own pocket money. Treat them how you would treat your own child and not sing them out just because they're fostered. Third thing, just support them and be nice, really. A foster carer who treats you like their own, um, respect and dignity and just being a nice person. Someone who's caring and somebody who can listen, that you can talk to. don't like the word lack because it just shows that you are a looked after child and some people don't like to have that label so I don't like that. Also pet meetings, I don't like pep because it again it's one of those words that symbolise being in care. I don't like the word lack and kick and respite because it's a negative connotation to being in care. Respite drives me mad and I don't like peps because it feels like you're being like picked out and people know why now. I don't like the word when they use respite, as in, at first, I didn't really understand the meaning of it, but it's like, you know, a child who's very unpleasant and you have to look after them for a short while, which really you should be saying, oh, you're just going to have a sleepover at someone's house just for a few nights and then you're going to go back to where you were before. What should be the top priorities for children's services? Every looked after child, even if they're not in a Dudley Borough, in every different place should have like a CIC thing to go to and should have a connection where they get to see other foster kids so they don't just feel alone and they get to talk to other foster kids. A child has somewhere to sleep every night and somewhere to live, has the basic necessities and doesn't have to keep on just moving around different houses until they can find a place. 
they should do like sort of a care home and if you can't find a place for them to live they sort of stay there but not just like oh you're just gonna stay here don't forget about you make it sort of nice and pleasant for them to live there and then instead of just moving them around houses and then obviously that's affecting their mental health being able to do these podcasts and being able to do things that you wouldn't normally get a chance to and make sure your voice is heard I think more mental health access because children struggle with mental health issues and there's not enough places to access for them and it's not great. Lots of children don't get a lot of pocket money so like more children could get more pocket money and to know what the roles are for people that work for kids in care so they know what they do. Um, I don't think there is anything that could be improved. I think the Dudley Council so far are very helpful with kids and they support kids like their own. So 